cool. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. My name is uh, Charlie Jackson, and I've got this lovely talk for you, Funny Code and How to Write It. Uh, so I am a JavaScript developer, obviously, but I also do improvised comedy. So I was just scouring the web trying to find uh, fun code and funny things that happen within codes. So I found out just a whole bunch of awesome like code comments, and I was trying to figure out the ways that uh, you guys, like the t sort of tools and techniques that you can take out some of these examples uh, to use in some of your own coding. So first we have apologizing. So apologizing is a huge part of uh, code comments, it seems, or so my research found. Uh, so these are all the kind of things that you do when you're rushed, when you just don't care, or when you, are so, you just don't understand what the hell is going on. So when that happens, write it down. Everyone else will love it. Okay, next we have honesty. So <laughs> the, the nice thing about honesty is it's things that we can all relate to. So especially when the reason is entertaining, like this, uh, when you're pointing out things that you, we don't often admit to ourselves, but we kind of know it's true to us, isn't it, really? Uh, so preemptive uh, pre arguments, so when you know you've done something wrong uh, and you, you just need to admit to it, it's better to admit to it now than it is, is later. Uh, so another one is uh, saying how you honestly feel. So get that emotion in. People like it when you're vulnerable. It's, it's just hilarious. Um, add in detail. So the more you can specify and get detail into your reasons and explanations, uh, it just adds a lot more hilarity to it. And another one is uh, repetition and escalation. So making uh, the same points over again but heightening them, especially when they're true, uh, is a great technique that's used in comedy all over the place. Uh, so artwork, artwork, I, to be honest, I just love these. When, when these kind of opportunities come up and you see it, Please take advantage, because it's just amazing. Uh, the one I love with this, also just the, the drawing, but more safety pig is just a fantastic term. So I was like, I have to include that somehow. Uh, so we also have puns and wordplay. So the, there is so much gold in our code in some of the little things that we do um, every day. So please just take a second look at everything you write and see if you can. Um, add something into it. Even if it takes a bit more effort to put it in, so this one, I kind of think you had to think a bit harder to make this one work. Um, and some of them are just fun to say, so I did want to try and read this one out loud, because this is fun. Uh, replaces with spaces, the braces and cases where braces in places called stasis. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, we also have complaints. So there are loads of absolutely awesome examples of complaints online. Most of them are super long, so I couldn't include the ball in here. But here's a few I got about Richard being a fucking idiot, apparently. Um, so the longer and more emotional and detailed these can get, the better. And I'm not entirely sure that we should go this personal, but this comment here of, he also thought bandanas and aviator sunglasses were fucking gnarly, dude. It's just really hammering that point home. It's harsh, but beautiful in some weird way. Um, so back and forth. <laughs> so so in, in comedy, in comedy, the interactions between characters are super important. And in this case, the characters are developers. So if you see a comment and you're like, I certainly have an opinion on that, write it down and commit that. OK. Uh, we've got notes for future explorers. So I like to think that this is uh, sort of carved warnings. You get in Aztec temples uh, and stuff like that, warning people about the future. So one technique is to game it. So this here is definitely gaming it. Um, another one is explaining the consequences. So telling people how futile their path is. I've been here. I've gone through all this pain. And this is what lies ahead of you. Uh, Another one is being direct, so not sugarcoating anything at all. Like, there is a lot of beauty in short and sweet uh, sentences. Um, there's also broken logic, so things that don't, don't make sense. So this is a bit of a dick move. You probably shouldn't do this, but at the same time, it's funny. Um, we also have dramatizing, so adding a bit of theatrics to your language, which it's, it's just beautiful, right? This could be in a poem or something. Um, okay, a few more. We've got preventatives and threats. So definitely don't do this one. Definitely don't do that. But it is amazing if you do that on code that you just don't want people to fuck with. <laughs> um, 
Let's see. We got another one. So overly emotional language. So a lot of what we do in comedy is we, when we choose a character or something, we really commit to it. So this guy has got a lot of emotion about this. He really cares about that timestamp. So if you're going to say something, really say it with passion. Okay, mapping. So mapping is about taking an idea from one place and putting it uh, somewhere else, something that's unexpected. So this is like a, uh, from book dedications and stuff like that. Feel free to use mapping in your code. Um, and lastly, we have confusion. So again, there is a lot of examples of this all over the place. But confusion is all about showing your desperation, showing that you've given up, um, or showing that you're emotionally drained. So please take some of these uh, sort of 10 categories, these 10 ideas. Try and use them in your, in your coding, in your comments. I'm Charlie Jackson. You can find me all there. Thank you very much.